Hello, Providence Children's Museum families and friends, and welcome to another Try It At Home experience. My name is Jesse, and I'm an AmeriCorps Museum educator here at the museum. Have you ever taken a pad of sticky notes, drawn slightly different images on each page, and flipped through to see how they all come together to create a sort of movie? If so, then you've made a stop-motion animation. A stop-motion animation is an animation, or a video, created by taking photos of objects that are slightly different between each photo. When the photos are put together at the end, they come together to create a continuous sort of movie. What I love about stop motions is that you can make inanimate objects, or things that aren't alive, come to life. Today we're going to do just that. What you'll need is a smartphone or a tablet, small inanimate objects like crayons, fruits or vegetables, books, whatever you can find at home will work great. And lastly, a sturdy surface to work on, like a table or a countertop. All right, let's get making. First, ask a grown-up to download the app Stop Motion Studio. Next, gather inanimate objects you can find around your house to use to tell your story. I'm using a spider plant with some googly eyes, a glass of water with some googly eyes, a straw, and a little homemade sun. Next, think about what story you want to tell using those inanimate objects. It's a good idea to keep it short and simple. Stop motion animations take a very long time to make, even if the video only lasts a few seconds. It might be a good idea to sketch out your ideas. I'm beginning with, my spider plant is very hot because it's a sunny day. Their friend, the cup of water, comes over and helps out. In the end, everyone is happy. Next, open the Stop Motion Studio app, click New Movie, click the camera button in the top right, and now this is your frame. So I'm going to use a book to prop my phone up against to make sure it stays upright. And now you can set up the first scene of your stop motion. I'm going to start with my spider plant, looking a little worried because he's very hot. And the sun is out. It's a really hot day. Once you have your first scene set up, press the red button to take the photo. Perfect. Now slightly move your objects for the next shot and take another photo. Keep doing this over and over again. It's going to take a while, but in the end it'll look awesome. Once you've taken all your photos, press the back arrow, then the play button to watch your creation. Wow, that was so cool! Did you have fun too? I would love to see what you created. Ask your grown-up to share a photo or a video on Facebook or Instagram using the hashtag PCMCreates. And be sure to check out this week's PCM Reads, in which we hear the story, The Day the Crayons Quit, which is another idea of how inanimate objects can come to life. I hope to see you next week for another Try It At Home experience. Bye for now!